batteries and cowman a supercharge. Look at Buddy Hotter Rod and Larger. She's a hot rod. She's a hot rod. She's my hotter rod. Hey, George, John over at Blue Top. All right. What's going on today, buddy? Is that another cruise night there? Well, yeah, we got another cruise night, but we're doing some uh, planting flowers and all kinds of stuff out here today. I just can't picture you planting flowers. The regulars are in here. They're redoing the, uh, the outside for me. I picture those guys planting carburetors, not flowers. <laughs> Come on. Well, they're doing, they're uh, doing a good job at it, George. It looks good. You got some rusted knuckles over there, eh? Having a good yeah. time. Well, we got, uh, you know, the regulars here, you know, the regulars that, with all the photographs up on the wall up there. Oh, yeah. I'm on that wall. I love all that wall. Helping today. That's the wall. Yeah. That's the yeah, wall they have, of car They're guys. putting new mulch down, new flowers down. Oh, these guys are pretty good. Wow. I'm going to have to stop by on the way to Velpo and see that. We're going out to the Soapbox Derby, non motorized racing cool. at its finest. And that's for the good, kids. Good, good, good. That'll be good. Kids. You know, but last, on Thursday, you coming by Thursday? Absolutely, I'm coming by Thursday. Tell everybody what that's about. That is so cool that something well, in our region. Really uh, Channel 9, they've chosen us for Chicago's best and for the best burgers in the uh, Chicagoland area. So uh, we're going to have the uh, television crew out here from WGN. They're going to be uh, taping us for about three hours. Uh, in our kitchen, they'll be talking with customers. A lot of cars are going to be outside. And then uh, they're going to play it live on August 6th. It'll be on that Sunday, the 10 o'clock show that they have. Absolutely beautiful, John. That, you've earned it, man. That's the, and that is a great burger. You know it is. I know it is. It all starts with the meat. It's oh, yeah, a yeah. It, it really is. But yeah. they're going to try and get some of my secrets from the kitchen. So that's not going to happen. You know that, George. Maybe, maybe I'll uh, follow them in the kitchen. You won't know I'm there, and I can watch the onion rings being made. <laughs> no. Okay. But, th- uh, no, Thursday we're having a good time here. Like I said, there's about seven guys out here right now. We're doing some landscaping out here, so it's looking good, man. It's looking real good. All right. Well, I'm going to come by and see. make sure they do a good job, those rusted knuckle guys. They're probably planting carburetors, yeah, and you don't know it. You're going to have a carburetor tree <laughs> growing in the front yard. No, you don't know them yeah, guys. They're yeah, it, it's look. Yeah, it looks really nice, man. They planted some nice flowers, man. I mean, this thing looks. I mean, it's really nice. They got the touch, so yeah. it's going to look know? good for Thursday night in WGN, Chicago's finest blue oh, yeah. top burgers. Yeah, baby. Yeah, that, it, it's an honor. That's a big honor for us. Oh, it should be, John. For God's sakes, you're putting out a great burger, and they're going to be there, and they're going to tell the they're going to tell the whole world. Now the whole world's going to know. Yeah, after. Anytime after 4 o'clock, so they're going to be here for three hours, okay? Oh, I'll be there with bells on. Okay, George. John, thanks. You got to tell T-Rex, and we'll talk soon, okay, guys? You got it, buddy. T-Rex will be there eating a burger. You know that. Oh, yeah, he comes all the time. That dinosaur is carnivorous. <laughs> That's a good thing. <laughs> thanks for He's calling, got it John. Like you're, that. The, you're the best, man. All right, thanks guys. for calling. W thanks. Oh, the blue top. You can't. Uh, they're going to be on WGN. They're Chicago's best. How great is that? I want a little place in our area. The Blue Top Drive-In is back. All the years it was closed, it, he put it together. I'm telling you, the, guy's a, the guy is a gem. And he's had a lot of help from Region Rides and the Rusted Knuckles and the, the guys that have been there. <clears throat> he's, been one of our, he's been one of our advertisers for the longest time. In Germany. Now, all of a sudden now, here, here it comes. I mean, it's, and I told you guys this was coming. In Germany... They're going to start testing the Porsche Cayenne after media reports on emissions cheating possibility. They may have cheated. Oh, you think? <laughs> Porsche says they've committed, they've done all the testing, and it's just fine. And the, the it was all this is reported in that that fine German newspaper called Der Spiegel. So if you have a copy of Der Spiegel laying around, pick it up and read about the Porsches that are getting tested for violating our airspace again again now all this talk about and this is sad but all this talk about vw and how this lawsuits and all this and their their cheating scandal and diesel gate and stinky gate i call it all this is not cha- it's not hurt them they're, they're wealthy 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 beyond belief but 
Now comes a story last week where VW almost has almost 9,300 staff members are agreeing to buyouts on retirement, early retirement. They're eliminating 9,300 jobs. They're not rehiring people, trust me. They may promote a few. They may do this and that. They may reorganize, but they're, they're, that's 9,300 people, 9,300 people that Volkswagen will not pay anymore. They'll be off. They get buy, bought out and they're gone. The early buyout. Well, early buyouts are nice, <laughs> but you know what? What does that tell you? They're not selling the cars they used to. Stinky Gate had to kill them. It just did. Don't tell me they got away with this. People, people listen. They hear this. They they hear they hear me talking on the radio across across the country now, and they hear other people talking about it. And they see these cars parked all over the place, like in the Pontiac Silverdome here out of here at the Gary Airport. There's a a load of them out there stored. Call it what you will. I call it stored. When they actually could do something with those, I mean, rather than just let them sit there, they can't fix them. They can't make them right. Okay, they can't fix them. So they're gonna, they can't put them back on the road, but they could donate them to all the various technical schools in the area, and every, well, every area, and the, the colleges and so forth, and the, the tech programs, and let these kids take things. Maybe somebody will find a cure for it. You know, maybe somebody will they'll take it apart and fix it, and they'll say, hey, guess what? It, it passes the pollution test now. And then Volkswagen will have their test. I mean, these kids are they're sharp. I've got a couple working for me now, and I, they're absolutely sharp as a pin. This is a great thing to do, but no, they decided they're going to let them sit there and rot and rust and leak oil all over the place and because you know they leak oil. You know, I never met a diesel yet that didn't leak oil. Come on. Anybody, any good truck driver will tell you a Detroit has to leak or, or it won't run. It just, it has to breathe, and that's its way of breathing. It leaks. General Motors. Here's another, another sad story, uh, but I predicted it. General Motors is having their problems right now selling cars. They're, they're loading their people up with inventory. General Motors is has taken a big hit from that ignition gate and, and different problems they've had. They've had some serious other stuff going on. Uh, poor Mary Barra got, yeah, that was a sacrificial lamb. They made her the CEO so that they could chop her legs off with ignition gate. But the General Motors stockholders, the shareholders, at their last meeting were screaming. That they want, that they want the factory, they want the CEOs, and that to, to release more, uh, to release deals on these cars, make a deal. Now, if you listen uh, Thursday to Rick in the morning, Rick Federici at WIMS and uh, Nick at WHFB, I was on a three-way call with those guys, and we talked about this. And Rick had a great plan. Rick actually had a great plan: cut the price to. 15000 for every car and just sell them that one time. You, one time you can buy a car for $15,000. They're not going to lose money on it. They're just not going to make the huge profit they always do. But the dealers are actually choking on their inventory. They have way too much inventory. And they're, 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 they can't sell anything. They can't give it away. They, you know, it's crazy. And the factory is the only one that can lower the prices. That's where it all starts. You know, the dealer's got a markup of a couple of grand, maybe three sometimes on a car, where the factory, oh, 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 they can lower that car five grand easy. Come on. So here's the deal. And and Rick Federici said it best. He said, give everybody a one-shot deal. You want a new car, 15 grand. Come get it. Get rid of all those cars. Everybody gets a new car. Everybody's driving a safe new car. Everybody's having a good time. Everybody enjoys themselves, and they got it for 15 grand. You can't beat it. The economy is, it goes boom, boom, boom. The banks, you know, for loans and stuff. I mean, everybody, everybody wins. Everybody. But they won't do it. Just like Volkswagen won't get rid of those old junky, stinky cars that they got sitting around. Chevrolet would rather let, or GM, would rather let their dealers choke and die on the inventory that they keep supplying them. Well, that inventory is there on a floor plan. That's, that's, uh, there's juice on that interest that they're paying. That's not good. Here, they're, they're going to build a new car. They're going to build a new plant. Big factory, Tesla, is right next to their deal. They're almost done with a big deal to make a, make a uh, factory in Shanghai, China, so that they can build their Teslas in China. I wonder, I wonder, I wonder. 
is that is there that kind of money over there? Is that the market for that? Because those are expensive. They're a hundred thousand dollars. Unless they're going to build the cheap one there, that S model or whatever, that's like thirty-five or forty thousand dollars. That's still a real expensive car for them. Those people are used to them five thousand dollar Tatas and stuff from India and the little two seaters and the the uh, dumb car for one or whatever it's called, dumb car for two, the Dumkov for two. And they, that's a lot of money. I don't know Tesla in China. Well, I suppose there's a market for it. I know the Buick is huge in China. Everybody in China loves the Buick. That's why General Motors kept that and got rid of Oles and Pontiac. They should have got, I think they should have kept Oles, but that's beside the point. Uh, what do I know? I'm just a regular guy, you know. I'm just a car guy. That's all I am. But Tesla's going to build a plant in China. Oh, no. Guess what? <laughs> The Ford Focus, which has heretofore been made in Mexico, they're going to build another plant in China. Not in Shanghai, I hope. Jesus. They're going to take it out of Mexico and they're going to build it in China. i got to see what town it was. I read this and I can't remember. It was some Chinese town, but <laughs> it's probably something I can't pronounce. That's probably why I didn't, I didn't write it down. But they're going to build their plant in China. The Ford Focus is going to be built in uh China. Instead of Mexico, they're going to China. Everybody's going to China. What's up with that? Well, they don't have any rules. <laughs> they're kind of like Mexico. Mexico's got a few rules. Mexico's even got some unions, some organization down there where the workers are not being just like beat to death, for God's sakes. Uh, it, it's actually pretty good over there, down there in Mexico, but you know what? Those are our jobs. Leave them, build that plant here. Don't build it in Mexico. Don't build it in China. I hope you, if you're going to build that Ford Focus in China, just keep it there. I don't want to hear about it. I don't want you telling me, oh, we're going to sell this car in, in um, Chicago now. No, you're not. Let's go to the car phone. 928 Car Guys, you're on the air. What's up, buddy? Hey, I got a question for you. Yeah. Have you, you're familiar with the Elio Motors? The who motors? Elio. E-L-I-O. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, what do you think of that? And do you know if uh, they're going to be starting production anytime soon? Well, you know what? They, 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 there was speculation that that was a, a shell company. The guy just wanted some money like Fisker and them, and then he was going to bail out. He wanted to get some uh, inv investors or even get some government grants. But that motor that he's, that he's working on, it's not a real powerful motor, but it's powerful enough for the vehicle they put it in. And guess what? The mileage is astronomical. It's a great thing. But I don't know that he's going to get off the ground with it. I just don't know. I hope he does. Trust me. I, uh, I got an email from him, and it said that they've already uh, had 65,000 reservations for the car. Right, they have orders. They're offering a 25% discount on the car. Right now, really? If you if you pre-order, yeah. Okay, but they've got all those orders. Have they made any yet? That's my question. See, I no, I and you know, and they said the company, the building that they they're using is down in Louisiana, I believe. Yep. It was one of the, uh, I don't know if it was a former GM or a Chrysler plant. Was it? But, GM uh, you know, plant? I have yet yes. to have seen anything, and it's been been about three years. It seems like. Oh, they've been in development for a long time, and they got a lot of people reserving them and paying money, but. I haven't seen one on the road. Yeah, me either. I'm kind of worried yeah, I about thought that. If you do <laughs> right. The FCA was look, or so. the government was looking into those guys just to make sure it wasn't a shell company to make just to you know get a bunch of money and like Fisker did and close the doors. Right. Because Fisker got like two hundred million or something from the government, and next thing you know, he built three cars and went home. So I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I don't think they trust this guy, Elio. But you know what? I read the concept on that, and I studied it, and I, I like it. I mean, the guys, whoever came up with that is really smart. But I don't know if it's going right. to be I don't know if it's going to be I like the looks of the car. I think it would be a neat little thing to drive. Oh, yeah, it would. I, of course, I wouldn't fit in it, trust me. But, uh, but I, would like to, <laughs> I would like to go. I would like to try and drive it. I really would. Yeah, we'll find out. We'll, Time will tell on this, but I, I don't know that I'd send them any money to reserve a car until I saw one being made, one coming off the right. off their assembly line. You know what I'm saying? 
right? No, I understand that. That's why I haven't reserved mine yet. There you go. <laughs> you know what? Maybe <laughs> if we see them start to build them, you and I will we'll reserve them together, buddy. There we go. Sounds I'll, good. Well, I'll get one and you get one and we'll race. <laughs> All right. Thanks for calling. All right. Thanks for calling. That's a great right, question. Thanks. That was a great question. Helio Motors is uh, is a different ball game, and I, like I say, I haven't seen one hit the road yet. There was a lot of speculation when they first started that that was another Fisker, and I don't know. I don't know. I know Fisker was a. <laughs> ooh, I don't want to talk about it. Fisker and a couple of battery companies that were making lithium batteries, and then they're gone. And China people buy them, and they get that money, and that money's gone. That was Department of Energy money. That was grants from the, the actually the Obama administration, the Department of Energy, DOE.